And now I'm here to show you how to connect an external GNS receiver through Wi-Fi. In this case I will use the Mnet Reads RS2. Let's first see what settings we use in the Mnet Reads RS2. First thing we do is going to the settings and then to network internet and then we go to Wi-Fi and we select the Reads hotspot. And it's connected, so we can get out of this, and then we can start up the Reach View app. Here we select the GNS receiver, and then when the app is finally ready, we can go to change some settings. So we click on the menu, and we go to Wi-Fi. Then we select the Wi-Fi network that we want the Mnet reads to be connected to and it has to be the same as where the tablet or phone that you will be using for AppGloss Survey Wizard is also connected to. In our case we select AppGloss Mobile. We click connect, we click connect. And now the Mlet Reach RS2 should be connected to the AppGloss mobile network. So we close the app and go to settings, we go to network, and we are connected already now with the AppGloss mobile Wi Fi network, and that should be well. We go to the Reach View app again. We click on the Reach device. When the app is ready, we go to the menu and we go to Correction Input. In our case, we filled in the Ntrip data and then we go back to the menu and click on Position Output. In the output, we have to select TCP. And we have the role of a server, the address is localhost, and you can choose a port. In our case we choose 9001, and we select that the output is NMEA. After doing all that, we only need to remember one number. That number is on the top left of the menu. In this case it's 192.168.43.134. We need that number to fill in Abloss VA Wizard later. Those settings were not that complicated, right? Give it thumbs up if you agree. So now the second part of this video. What we need to do in Abloss VA Wizard to connect the Amulet Reads RS2 through Wi-Fi. So now we are in Abloss VA Wizard and now we go to the connection menu. There we click on connect. Here we make sure that we click on, on Wi-Fi and you can change the IP address and the port. The IP address has to be the same as the IP address that is mentioned in the menu of the Mnet Reads RS2. And the port has to be the same as we filled in in the settings in the Mnet Reads RS2. After that we can click on the connect button. Now we have a connection and now we have a fix so we can measure a point. 